Hello my little glitter piglets out there. Welcome back to my channel and another video. For today I chose this beautiful rainbow marble design I did on my client some time ago to recreate for you in not one but not two but three different ways. So I hope you enjoy and let's get right into it. To start off with our first design we're going to double dip into several different colors and apply them to the nail to create a smooth cuticle area before we go into the fun stuff which is marbling. So here I'm just trying to get as many of the colors I chose in the right order onto the nail without losing control of them before I go in with my black and the marble swoosh. So when I'm happy with the look of it, I just continue what I've been doing until the nail is completely covered. I'm just picking up the beads in the right order, as many as I can without losing control and then just go in with my black for the marble. So at the end of my marble I ended up with a teeny tiny window, can you see it? It's at the very tip, so I decided to go in with some yellow and to drag a little bit of black, a tiny bit amount um, through it to give it some interesting detail at the very tip. To finish the design off I of course had to go in with some glitter and I chose the perfect one if you ask me it's called rainbow crush and that's exactly how it looks like so beautiful I tried to not overdo it just applied a tiny bit amount here and there when I think it looked nice and yeah that's basically it <laughs> As soon as I'm happy with the look of it and where everything is placed, I allow the glitter some time to adhere to the nail and fully cure and then I'm going in with my glitter balls glass slippers to encapsulate my design and add some strength. Also, quick question, am I the only person in the world that thinks freshly encapsulated chunky glitter looks even nicer than when it's fully cured? Look at the iridescent sheen from Rainbow Crush. It's so pretty. It looks, oh, it looks like a geode if you ask me. I just love it. And this concludes our very first design. So let's just start with our next one in a few moments. Ready for our next and second design, we are starting off very simple with a plain full covered nail of Glitterbolt's Carbon Black and allow it some time to cure. You know your product is fully cured when it's not shiny but it turned matte like it does here and that's when you go in with your glitter. I picked up a very large bead of Glitter Vault Rainbow Crush and applied it in an S shape. Look at how stunning, by the way, the iridescent glitters are showing up over black. So, so beautiful. Also, remember, you are the boss, not your glitter. If some tiny glitter particle sits where you doesn't want it to sit, just shove it over. You are the boss. Remember that. Yeah, um, I certainly took my time here to place every single glitter particle where I wanted it. So enjoy some content of me shoving around glitter until I'm satisfied. <laughs> Thank you. 
if you manage to spend less time than I placing your glitter, then congratulations, you are ready to go in with your clear to encapsulate. I usually try to apply my clear as smoothly as possible so I have minimal finish filing to do at the end. So with encapsulating this basically concludes our second design as well. Are you ready for our final and third one? Okay, are you ready? Let's get into our third and final design of the day. This is going to be kind of a hybrid of the first two. I'm starting out with applying a base of black at the upper part of the nail and smoothing it out. And then I'm going in with my brush to cut in an S shape into the black to kind of create a ledge. Make sure the upper black part is really opaque and if needed, go in with a second bead to darken everything up like I do here. Just drag it over the nail and cut into it across the nail with your brush like I did here. Me personally, I like this ledge, if you want to call it, really crisp and clean, so I just repeat this process of getting my brush onto a point and really dragging along this line to get everything neat and sharp and crisp. You don't have to do it, it's just what I like to do. At the end, I don't think it matters that much to be honest. But what do we do with it now, you ask? Let's get right into the fun stuff. We're going to do some marble again. Like with the first design, we're just going to place our beads in the right order onto the nail. And then we're going to take some black to muddle everything together. And this time I actually managed to get all of those colors onto the nail to marble them all together in one go. I am so proud of myself! Woohoo! If you should end up with some extra space like I did here, just go in with some more beads and some more black and marble everything back together until you are satisfied with the look of it. For some reason my green kind of got lost in the design, so I ended up picking up a teeny tiny bit and applying it right at the top of the marble design to bring back some green. Because we need green. Green is good. Remember that. This next step is totally up to your personal preference. You could just leave your design like this and go in with your encapsulation. Um, I of course chose to apply some more glitter with Glitter Balls Rainbow Crush and apply it right where the black hits the marble design. You can totally go wild with the glitter by the way, you could do like a super thin and very clean line right where the black hits the marble, but you could also go wild and apply much more than I did here and kind of fade the glitter into the black more, would look very nice as well. When you're happy with your result and allowed your glitter some time to adhere to the nail, you can finally go in and encapsulate this third and final design. Again with the freshly encapsulated glitter. I don't know, there's just something about it that makes it look a tiny bit differently. Ugh, 
I don't know, it gets me. I, I, I really like it. We are almost done and ready with our three rainbow marble designs of the day. The last step of course is top coating and for that I'm going in with my glitter belt Snow White top coat and apply a generous coat to all three of the designs. The perfect finish. Just do the same with the other two designs and at the end you can go ahead and cure those for 60 seconds in your UV or LED lamp. That rainbow sparkle, I mean come on, so pretty! Our last and final design of course gets its own coat of top coat as well. Almost finished. Are you ready for the final reveal of all of them together? And here comes our big reveal. Drum roll! Here they are! Our final three rainbow marble designs. I really had fun showing you these. I hope you guys like them. Definitely let me know in the comments below which one of those three is your favorite. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I see you next time.